the voiceless palato alveolus sibyl fricative or voiceless domed post alveolus sibyl fricative is a type of consonantal sound used in many spoken languages, including English. In English, it is usually represented in writing with I shay copyright, as in ship. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is I florin I copyright, the letter H introduced by Isaac Pittman. The equivalent XSAMPA symbol is S. An alternative symbol is IY copyright, an S with a high infinite ek, which is used in the Americanist phonetic notation and the Uralic phonetic alphabet, as well as in the scientific and ISO 9 transliterations of Cyrillic. It originated with the Czech alphabet of Jan Hus and was adopted in Garge's Latin alphabet and other Latin alphabets of Slavic languages. It also features in the orthographies of many Baltic, Finno-Lapic, North American and African languages. Some scholars use the symbol to transcribe the laminal variant of the voiceless retroflex sibilant. In such cases, the voiceless palato alveolus sibilant is transcribed. Features Features of the voiceless palato alveolar fricative, its manner of articulation is sibilin fricative, which means it is generally produced by channeling airflow along a groove in the back of the tongue up to the place of articulation, at which point it is focused against the sharp edge of the nearly clenched teeth, causing high frequency turbulence. Its place of articulation is palato alveolar, that is, domed post alveolar, which means it is articulated with the blade of the tongue behind the alveolar ridge and the front of the tongue bunched up at the palate. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless. In others the cords are lax, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence, in various languages, including English and French, it may have simultaneous lip rounding, that is, e florin e, although this is usually not transcribed. Classical Latin did not have, e florin, though it does occur in most Romance languages. For example, I che copyright in French chanteur singer is pronounced. Chanteur is descended from Latin canter, where I che copyright was pronounced I che copyright in Latin censure science was pronounced, but has shifted to an Italian censor. Similarly, Proto-Germanic had neither, e florin nor, e, yet many of its descendants do. In most cases, this, e florin or, E descends from a Proto-Germanic. For instance, Proto-Germanic skipper was pronounced. The English word ship has been pronounced without the the longest, the word being descended from Old English sip, which already also had the E florin, though the Old English spelling etymologically indicated that the old had once been present. This change took a good bit longer to catch on in West Germanic languages other than Old English, but it eventually did. The second West Germanic language to undergo this sound shift was Old High German. In fact, it has been argued that Old High German's was actually already CK, because a single S had already shifted to C. Furthermore, by Middle High German, that had shifted to E florin. After High German, the shift most likely then occurred in Low Saxon. After Low Saxon, Middle Dutch began the shift but it stopped shifting once it reached, and has kept that pronunciation since. Then, most likely through influence from German in Low Saxon, North Frisian experienced the shift. Then, Swedish quite swiftly underwent the shift, which resulted in the very uncommon, E-section phoneme, which, aside from Swedish, is only used in Cologneian, a variety of High German, though not as a replacement for the standard High German but a coronalized. However, the exact realization of Swedish fare is considerably among dialects. For instance, in northern dialects it tends to be realized as e. CSJ sound for more details. Finally, the last to undergo the shift was Norwegian, in which the result of the shift was e florin. 
The sound in Russian denoted by IEI copyright is commonly transcribed as a palato alveolar fricative but is actually a laminal retroflex fricative. Voiceless post-alveolar non-sibilant fricative The voiceless post-alveolar non-sibilant fricative is a consonantal sound. As the international phonetic alphabet does not have separate symbols for the post-alveolar consonants, this sound is usually transcribed I to the first IESHI copyright. The equivalent XSAMPA symbol is a backslash 0R. Equals features equals, its manner of articulation is fricative, which means it is produced by constricting airflow through a narrow channel at the place of articulation, causing turbulence. However, it does not have the grooved tongue and directed airflow, or the high frequencies, of a sibilant. Its place of articulation is post-alveolar, which means it is articulated with either the tip or the blade of the tongue behind the alveolar ridge. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless. In others the cords are lax, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Equals occurrence equals. See also, Index of Phonetics Articles, Cedilla. References. Bibliography.